Before I start this video, I would like to say thank you so much for supporting my channel and I hope you guys enjoy the video. What's up YouTube? Welcome back to another video. Do you know how hard it is to record an audio in this day and age during a pandemic? Oh my gosh. Well, I finally had a moment to sit down and make this audio. I I had lost access to my Instagram for about two weeks, so I'm at, I'm back on my account my account is active i've been answering messages that i wasn't able to see before um and one frequently asked question was what are some of the things i eat um throughout this journey so i thought hey let me make a video of some of the things i've eaten in the last two months maybe yeah i think this is stuff from the last two months so i look back because i take a lot of videos of things i eat things i do because i get questioned a lot and sometimes you know the audio quality is better and i'm getting better with this editing thing so you know if i'm taking a little while with these videos you know why but um i hope you guys enjoy these videos as much as i like making them because i make them not only because i enjoy making videos but because i hope they help somebody also when i started my journey like i always say when i started i didn't see channels like mine that put out things like i do and also if i was gonna follow a channel i was looking for channels that were currently active posting at least once a week and you know for somebody who's not monetized on youtube that's asking a lot from a rookie YouTuber, to be completely honest, because some some channels that are monetized, you're not getting a video once a week. Some, some other channels, I like you getting a video once a week, but I see other channels and it's like once a month for some of these weight loss channels, or they only post when they get a sponsor or something like that. Look that's not what i was looking for so i definitely wanted to share every step of my journey and all the things i do whether it has to you know do with weight loss or not i like sharing my content and i like sharing the foods that i eat the workouts that i do the fun that i have with my family and you know it might give somebody else an idea because we're trapped in the house and some people are afraid to travel and you know, you know, we're not where we were two and a half years ago where we didn't have any restrictions. So I'm just showing people the things that I create at home. You get all these um, ingredients at the store, your local market. Has, make sure your local market has like an international section because that's how I, that's where I get most of my ingredients. You know, where I create like egg rolls and like when I recreate um, menu items or um, at home, usually I have to go in the international aisle. So stores like Food Bazaar, Costco would be good too because they have a wide variety. If you go to like a wholesale place or international market, you'll have a wider range of things you can buy, whether it's seafood, chicken, red meat it, it doesn't matter like they give you so much more that's not at the regular market that's why a lot of my friends will be like hey where'd you get that from and i'll be like look you gotta go to a market that has a section not just one aisle if they don't have two to three aisles of international ingredients you're in the wrong place you're in the wrong place like i'm just gonna let you know if it's not bj's or costco's wholesale places like that or, it, or a market that has a nice size section of international goods, you're not going to come out with the same things that I have or you're not going to find the same ingredients. So, you know, sometimes when people are shocked about the things I'm making, I'm like, you don't go to Food Bazaar? You don't go to Western Beef? Western Beef is an international market too. Um, I don't know a lot of them, but I'm definitely going to look into that for you guys because I know, you know, some states, some places don't have Food Bazaar and Western Beef. But I made this video just to show you guys what I eat and how it's worked for me. You know, count your calories, watch those portions. And if you got giant plates at home, do what I did and throw them in the garbage because that's what throws off your portions. See you soon. 
Oh yeah, and don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel and share this with a friend that it can help so we can don't forget to leave a like and a comment and share this with a friend. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.